Have you ever wondered why solar panels are wired into strings in a specific way? Why not just connect them all in one line or split them however we like? That's where string sizing comes in, one of the most critical steps in designing a solar power system. In this video, I'll walk you through everything you need to know about solar string sizing. First, we'll cover the fundamentals, including how temperature affects voltage. Then, we'll calculate real-world examples with 6 kilowatt and 12 kilowatt systems, first with panels of the same wattage and then with mixed wattages. Stick around until the end because I'll also share pro tips to avoid costly mistakes that could damage your inverter or cut your system's performance in half. Section 1. Fundamentals with temperature effects. Here's a detail many people overlook. Solar panel voltage is not fixed. It changes with temperature. Each panel has a number called the temperature coefficient of voltage, usually around minus 0.3% per degree Celsius. This means, in cold weather, panel voltage goes up. In hot weather, panel voltage goes down. So when we design string sizes, we must calculate both extremes. Maximum voltage at the coldest temperature, VOC cold equals VOC STC times 1 plus the coefficient multiplied by the temperature difference. Minimum voltage at the hottest temperature, VMP hot equals VMP STC times 1 plus the coefficient multiplied by the hot temperature difference. Why is this important? Because at the coldest temperature, VOC must stay below the inverter's maximum DC input voltage, and at the hottest temperature, VMP must stay above the inverter's minimum MPPT voltage. Skip these checks, and your inverter could shut down on hot days or even be destroyed on freezing days. E Section 2 6 kW solar power system string sizing with same wattage panels. Let's design a 6 kW system using 450 watt panels. Specs Total panels equals 6000 divided by 450 equals 14 panels. Panel VOC equals 49 volts. Panel VMP equals 41 volts. Coefficients VOC minus 0.32% per degree, VMP minus 0.29% per degree. Side temps min minus 5, max 45. Inverter, MPPT 200 to 600 volts, max DC 1000 volts. Step 1, VOC at minus 5 degrees Celsius. Temp difference equals minus 30 degrees Celsius. Increase factor equals 1 plus 0 0.0032 times 30 equals 1.096. Adjusted VOC equals 49 times 1.096 equals 53.7 volts per panel. For 14 panels, 14 times 53.7 equals 752 volts. Safe. Under 1000. Step 2 VMP at 45 degrees Celsius. Temperature difference equals plus 20 degrees Celsius. Decrease factor equals 1 plus minus 0 0.0. 0 0.029 times 20 equals 0 0.942. Adjusted VMP equals 41 times 0 0.942 equals 38.6 volts per panel. For 14 panels, 14 times 38.6 equals 540 volts within 200 to 600 volt MPPT range. Conclusion, a single string of 14 panels works perfectly. Section 3, 6 kilowatts with mixed wattage panels. Now what if we mix 450 watt panels with 550 watt panels? The challenge is that different panels have slightly different VOC and VMP values, as well as different coefficients. This means their voltages won't align properly in the same string. Solution: Always connect panels of the same wattage and model in one string. If you must use different wattages, put them on separate MPPT inputs of the inverter. That way, each string is optimized independently and you don't lose performance. Here's section 4, real-world example. 12 kW solar power system string sizing with same wattage panels. Let's scale up a 12 kW system using 500 watt panels. Specifications Total panels equals 12,000 divided by 500 equals 24 panels. VOC equals 48 volts. VMP equals 40 volts. Temp coefficients VOC equals negative 0.32% per degree Celsius. VMP equals negative 0.29% per degree Celsius side temps minus 5 degrees Celsius to 45 degrees Celsius. Inverter specs, MPPT equals 300 to 800 volts. Max DC equals 1000 volts. 
Step 1, VOC at minus 5 degrees Celsius factor equals 1.096, adjusted VOC equals 48 times. 1.096 equals 52.6 volts per panel for 24 panels. 24 times 52.6 equals 1,262 volts. Too high. Exceeds inverter's 1,000 volt limit. Step 2. Try 12 panels per string. 12 times 52.6 equals 631 volts. Safe. Now check VMP at 45 degrees Celsius. 40 times 0 0.942 equals 37.7 volts per panel 12 times. 37.7 equals 452 volts. Within 300 to 800 volts MPPT. Conclusion. The solution is two strings of 12 panels in parallel. Section 5. 12 kilowatt with different wattage panels. If we build the same 12 kilowatt system but mix 500 watt and 600 watt panels, the rule is the same. Never combine them in a single string. Put the 500 watt panels on one MPPT input and the 600 watt panels on another. Each group is checked separately for temperature effects and the inverter will manage them independently for maximum efficiency. Conclusion. Let's recap the key lessons about solar string sizing. Always apply temperature coefficient corrections for both VOC and VMP. Check maximum VOC at the coldest temperature. Never exceed the inverter's DC input rating. Check minimum VMP at the hottest temperature. Keep it above the inverter's minimum MPPT voltage. Never mix panels of different voltages or models in the same string. Always separate them by MPPT. Following these rules ensures your solar system runs safely, efficiently, and reliably in every season. If you found this guide helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share it with anyone planning a solar installation.